Welcome back to Silver State Trains. Well, today is demo day. I'm going to start tearing this thing apart. See how that goes. A lot of this isn't glued down, so it's going to be easy. And this upper track here that I'm taking apart is my DC layout, so I don't have... I don't have a lot of feeders on here, so that'll also make it pretty quick. So how do I want to do this? All right. I'm going to need to clean this track before I rebuild because it's dirty. So I've made a new update to my new layout that I showed previously. I added I added an inner loop. I'll show that to you guys in one of my next next videos. But now we got to order track. So that will be fun. I don't know why this feels weird, tearing apart a running layout. It's got to be done. Let's see how long it takes to demolish this thing here. I'm wondering about this foam. Now that it's had time to fully dry and whatnot, I wonder if it's holding down really good because I'm either going to rip, try to save the bottom layer of foam, or I'm just going to have to toss it all. I'll just have to wait and see. So I'm, I'm going to be putting some double crossovers on my layout, and I don't have any experience with those. So if any of you watching, if you can let me know, with those crossovers, do you need uh, one switch controller to control the double crossover, or does it take multiple? I want to say it's just one. That's what... So it makes sense in my mind. All right, let's keep going. I can't take up any of the switches yet because all that wiring is stapled up underneath. So I'm going to leave those guys for now. I'm going to have to fix all the unit joiners here that I have. What are they called? The blocks? Insulators. Insulators. Well, I broke a unit joiner. Sure, I can solder that. Uh, 
All right, well, that's all the track up that I can get. I now have to pull all the staples out of the switches. Let's do that. All right, time for some switches. my butter knife. Glue held up better than I thought. So I was trying to pull these through without having to connect these because these things are a pain in the butt. But either way, it's going to suck. In case it wasn't obvious, I ain't going to be able to use any foam. Well, I think that's enough for one day. <laughs> so I'm going to have to rip all this out and toss it. So this uh, wood glue I used worked very, very well. So that's good. All right. Well, thanks for watching my demolition and to be continued.